there's definitely always an opportunity when you're a company that's in the spotlight, and definitely Apple is, for the critics and the complaints that are out there to get a lot of attention. And, and you're right, so far the lion's share of the attention has gone to Apple Maps, and with good reason. I mean, the Tim Cook apology, along with the fact that he said, if there's other mapping technology you want to use in the near term, go for it. That's not a great position to be in. But here are some of the other examples, Nicole. Uh, Wi-Fi is one of them. Some people have complained that uh, when their Wi-Fi signal at home is not as strong as this new 4G LTE technology, those stronger networks, then the iPhone 5 is defaulting to the 4G LTE, which you might not care about today, but when you see your phone bill, you will care about that. iTunes is another example. So some people have complained about not being being able to find necessarily some of their music or their music being mislabeled and we know that Apple would love for everybody to be using iCloud and they're moving in that direction we're not necessarily all the way there there all the way there yet and so you know syncing up all your various devices that's one of the factors out there and a final thing we wanted to highlight just has to do with the App Store uh, some people have been complaining about uh, not necessarily being able to access the App Store after moving on to the new operating system iOS 6 and again every person is different every complaint is a little bit different the fact that you've just had so many people moving on to the new operating system certainly creates the the challenges that a company like Apple will face Nicole but so many people is not everyone, John. So what kind of opportunities does this create for Google, for uh, the Android operating system? You know, in, in, in doing comparisons, we probably couldn't have done it to the same degree a few years ago. Because if you think back to the iPhone 3G, uh, the iPhone 4, at that point, could you immediately say there's a, a, a comparable device where people might immediately consider switching? Once we move into the, the time of the iPhone 4S and now the iPhone 5, obviously a lot of people will compare this device to the Samsung Galaxy devices that are on the market right now. You have to wonder at a certain point if you're going to have the same conversation with iOS that you have with the Macs and the eventual move in the operating system on the Mac to the OS X operating system. Nicole?